In the face of the ravaging coronavirus pandemic, the Supreme Court has announced plans to deploy technology in handling the backlog of appeals before it. Chief Justice of Nigeria, Mohamed Tanko, had ordered the temporary suspension of court proceedings across the country as part of measures to curtail the spread of COVID-19. Now, the Apex Court, in a statement by the Director of Press and Information, Dr. Festus Akonde, said the move is aimed at leveraging on emerging options at the court's disposal to deliver on its mandate so that the justice sector does not suffer any major setback before the resumption of normal court sittings. On the reports that the legal email platform of the Supreme Court had been abandoned, the Apex Court spokesman noted that the report was made in bad faith. He said the legal email of the Supreme Court has been fully functional since its inauguration in 2018 and serving the purpose for which it was created. Akonde said the Apex Court only deployed manual method of service in the backlog of appeals filed before 2018 when the e-court system was inaugurated, adding that many lawyers had not yet registered on the platform. The Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, has said the coronavirus lockdown has not been quite effective in the state because the local government's administrations were not involved. Obasa, who stated this on Thursday via Twitter, said the idea that Lagos should not test because it does not have the capacity to treat all likely patients was not the best approach. He said Lagos should explore local herbs as a possible cure for lethal disease, adding that local government chairmen should support state efforts in the fight against coronavirus. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, as of Wednesday night of the 873 total COVID-19 cases confirmed in Nigeria, 504 were recorded in Lagos, the highest by any state in the country. The state has also been on federal government's ordered lockdown since 11 p.m. of March the 30th as part of efforts to curb the spread of the infection in the nation's commercial capital. And joining us live via telephone um, interview is political analyst Bolahon Olojede. Good morning, Mr. Olojede. Good morning, Amaka. Do you think the lockdown has not been effective? Um... It has been effective to a certain extent. Uh, if, if we dwell on the curve, there, there's a curve that the, the uh, CBC people present to us. And it shows that the initial uh, trajectory has been a little bit depressed by virtue of the lockdown. But that is on the medical side. What we are beginning to see, however, on the road is increased activity. The corner shops are beginning to open. There are instances of buses showing up on some part of, of the roads in, in Lagos. So things are not exactly lockdown, lockdown as, as they were at the beginning of uh, this uh, lockdown season. And it's likely to be progressive in that direction. All right. Um, uh, you know also, you are aware that we are at the point where community transmission has already started uh, happening. And of course, we are not so certain whether there is a vaccine or not a vaccine. There's this conversation ongoing now and saying, well, just maybe we should try herbs, our uh, indigenous knowledge. What, what do you think about this? The problem with that is that do we have an established procedure? Do we have the protocols? for determining, for taking a herb from discovery to approval. Do we have that protocol? Otherwise, what we end up is with is everybody just putting some herbs in some bottles, mm -hmm. and then they say it can deal with this matter. It's totally different from, say, a World Health Organization procedure for arriving at an effective vaccine. Those things are highly structured. So what we might eventually have are people... Uh, peddling all sort of herbs, and it might actually worsen our situation if it is not properly handled. All right. Thank you so very much, Balanho, and please do stay safe where you are.